Hi. As all the real world exhibition spaces are closed, I thought I'd do a virtual exhibition in my studio. This exhibition focuses on my landscapes, many local to the edge of the Peak District where I live, uh, but others, such as this one, on a box canvas, is in the Alps. It's entitled Alpine Track and is a view to the beautiful Ikran National Park and shows a narrow track running along top of sheer cliffs above Borg Doison in the valley below. Back to Macclesfield, and this is the canal basin at the Hovis Mill, one of the town's iconic buildings. This was a rare blue sky day with bright blue boats to match. Here is a view to Croker Hill from near Texnos Country Park. It's a fine winter's day with a stream of smoke catching the sunlight as it drifts up to the BT radio mast on the top of the hill. If you were driving past the Cat and Fiddle Inn on the way to Macclesfield, the next building would be this one, the Peak View Tea Rooms. The sky is so big up there and the weather can be pretty wild. Silktown Snooker is the focus of this painting. The view is a slice of Macclesfield life as seen from the bus station. The town's a typical northern mill town with red brick and blue mauve slate rooftops. The title of this painting is Afternoon Sun in Bollington. Typical of the town, these cottages were built as mill workers' houses on the steep sides of the valley. I was really drawn to the slanting blue shadows which contrasted with the mossy green of the rooftops in the sunlight. Shuttlingslow is known as Cheshire's own mini Matterhorn. This painting shows the hill on a bright autumnal day with high clouds and shadows scudding across the hillside. The cow parsley which grows everywhere here helps to give the painting depth even though it's usually finished flowering by the autumn. For those of you missing the ski season this year, this one is called Breathe. It's a view from the top of Peat Blanc above Alp d'Huez, looking across the Seren Gorge. It's inspired by that feeling of stillness and calm that you get high up in the mountains, surrounded by snow and sky. This painting is inspired by a very boggy walk in the Lake District in autumn. The day was clear and you could just about see the sea in the distance. Here we have Hen Cloud. It's a hill at the end of the rocky escarpment known as the Roaches. I wanted to show the range of colours you can see in the landscape around here, in the rocks but also in the grasses in the foreground. Summer days. This is Windy Ways from Tex Nose Country Park. It's a glorious summer's day and the grass and trees were just such a vibrant green it was difficult to capture. Now then, this one is a climber on the roaches. It's an area of rocks just south of here which is very popular with climbing and bouldering. The views across the plain below are stunning. This view is south and east towards Tittersworth Reservoir. The blackberry pickers. It was a scene which reminded me of my own childhood watching kids pick blackberries, eating as many as went into the bag. It's a very hot and dry day in central France, I recall. Back to autumnal scenes here, with a view looking northeast from Teg Snows, one morning when the mist was still clinging to the hilltops and there was a hint of frost on the fields. I like the blue greys of the road and the roofs. On to my most recent collection, which have now all been framed. This is a scene from a walk I did in Bollington with a photographer friend. It's a long snaking path with a fabulous mossy green wall and this little blue shed at the top. This September I started cycling again and this was a view I was rewarded with one slightly misty morning looking across to Hen Cloud from above Winkle. I spotted this little scene on a walk near Newstones. It reminded me of a painting by Edward Hopper. It's just a broken down fence at the foot of a field, but I was really struck by the composition and the link with another artist. During another of my cycling trips I spotted this shed. I nearly missed it as the hill it was on was quite steep and I was loath to stop. 
it looked faded and a bit lonely, which made me want to paint it even more. So that's the end of the tour. The shaky bits were filmed by me, and the still bits and sound were added by my wonderful son. All these paintings and many others are available to view and buy on my website, ginnymcdermott.co.uk.